Hello, hello. Welcome to this wonderful day. I want to talk about how to break past your ceiling um, for sales, especially when you're selling physical products um, on e-commerce, on websites, on like social media, um, Amazon, Etsy, etc. Like this, we're going to dive in on how to break past your sales ceiling, okay? Um, because we wanna make sure that these products are not just sitting on the shelves, you have made them for a reason, and that is to get into your customer's hands. So, I am Andrea Thomas, and what I do is I help you get more sales. If you're selling on your website, on Etsy, on Amazon, all of this is to make sure that your products are actually going to be helping others and that your customers can actually get your products. And so what better way to do that than to sell more of your products and help you get more sales. So we're going to go ahead and dive in. And I want to just talk about the purpose of you creating this product, the purpose of you curating this product, whether you are manufacturing yourself, private labeling, drop shipping, the whole purpose of you selling a product is to change someone else's life for the better, right? Like that's the whole purpose of you being um, in business is to help someone else. And of course, by helping someone else several times over, you are in turn helping yourself, taking your own business, your own life to the next level, simply because you were concerned about someone else, whether you're selling t-shirts, whether you created a product like I did, um, that's gonna be helping children around the world, whatever the case may be, this is why you are in business. So in order to fulfill that mission, we have to get more sales. And it sounds obvious, I know, but I see a lot of comments, a lot of posts talking about how they're the closing up shop or they're just not getting enough people to purchase their product. Um, products are sitting on the shelves and collecting dust or you are doing well with your sales and you're reaching the next level with your sales. However, you're like, I think I'm getting comfortable here. This is a good place to be. You're not really striving to get to that next level. So we're going to go ahead and dive in and talk about the ultimate trifecta and how this can relate to your product and your, um, your business. So um, I made a simple request that you drop a link to your favorite um, or your best-selling product. Um, and that's a link directly to your best-selling product, not your home page. I'll tell you why in the end, um, but to your best-selling product. So feel free to either ask questions or drop a link as we go. Okay, so whenever we are selling a product, we all think one of two things. We are going to either sell on a third-party platform like Etsy, Amazon, you name it. It can be Walmart.com, whatever. Or we go opposite end and we say, I want my own place my own piece of the internet, okay? So I'm gonna get a um, WordPress um, website, a Shopify, BigCommerce, I'm gonna have my own domain and my own place to purchase, okay? There's two different ways to look at this. One, when you're looking at Amazon or Etsy um, or the like, they have their own audience you can tap into, okay? On the flip side, um, though, we, on, for your website, you have to create your own audience, but, Here's the thing, on third-party platforms, you don't have as much control. You have to follow their rules, you have to stay within their guidelines, their performance metrics, things of that nature. On the flip side, on your own website, you have control. You can talk to your customers whenever you want to. You can email them, you can communicate with them uh, on your own terms. Therefore, you have your own asset, okay? When you're selling on a third-party platform, at any moment in time, they can pull the plug and shut your website down. Um, such, shut your, your site down, stop you from selling products on their website, simply because they are concerned about their platform and making sure they're getting their sales um, and that their customers are happy. And if your customers um, on your website are not happy, you can communicate with them back and forth. There's no middleman that you have to go through. Um, there's no higher being that you have to, um, to, to worry about. You are able to connect with your, your audience, your customer base, and resolve that issue. On a third party platform, you have to do it within a certain time frame. You have to make sure that you do it a certain way and you communicate with them within their terms, okay? So there's pros and cons to both, but here's the thing. Here's the driving factor. Many people decide to start on Amazon or Etsy simply because they know they can get sales. The audiences that are there already, and they are buyers. They are buyers, and that is definitely a lure. Now, of course, of course, there's still some marketing involved. Um, we can't just 
uh, build it and they will come per se, we still have to take the necessary steps to make sure that we are getting a piece of that, um, that customer base. On the flip side on your website, you really have to um, grassroot it out or drive traffic through ads and things of that nature or continue to create your own base. Okay, so now we're on the same page. We understand the difference between the two. Um, depending on how you are doing this, there's a third piece of the puzzle. So I'm gonna pull up a, um, a graphic shortly to show you the ultimate trifecta. But in, in essence, it is making sure that you are not relying on one stream of sales, okay? Now, when you're looking at your business, you're thinking about um, how can you sell this one product in several different ways? That is what I'm all about, selling your product in several different ways, okay? So we wanna make sure that if anything ever happens to your website, let's say it goes down, to your um, Amazon account, let's say they put you in Amazon jail, whatever the case may be, that it doesn't stop the flow of your sales. So this trifecta is going to help you realize, okay, how am I gonna get more traffic? How am I gonna turn them into my asset? And how am I gonna make sure that I'm getting paid several ways over, okay? Now, as we go through this process, I want you to, to just kind of jot down how many ways are you selling your products, okay? So if you are, let's say you're, you're manufacturing your own product, let's say it is um, a pair of socks. Let's say there, there are some athletic socks, um, that you are that you know will change the game for those playing soccer. I just made that out of my out of top of my head. <laughs> but let's say they are performance socks for athletes who play soccer, okay? And you know this is going to revolutionize the game. So you were decided that you're going to sell this product on Amazon and you're going to just change lives, okay? This is going to change the way they tie their shoelaces, the way that they go ahead and perform. This is going to change the, the stinky feet, whatever the case may be, <laughs> whatever the benefit of it is. But so when we're, when we're looking at this, we have to think about a couple of aspects. One, we want to work on sales, but we also want to make sure that they're going to be our audience and and we want to make sure that we get this, this product sold in several different ways, okay? So whether that's going to be wholesaling, whether it's going to be drop shipping, whether it's going to be an affiliate link, whether it's going to be selling it on Amazon, your website, whatever, all of these ways are going to help you get more sales. So if you are taking a moment to jot down, okay, I have this one um, product, this one pair of athletic socks, how many ways am I selling it? Write that number down, comment in the comment section, how many ways are you selling this? Um, and so this is what we want to take a, take a look at because if you are only selling your product in one or two ways, right there, you have a way to break past your sales um, your sales ceiling, okay? Sales ceiling is simply where we are looking at um, looking at our numbers from the past month, the previous month, the previous year, et cetera, and we wanna make sure that, hey, we're seeing this line go up, we're seeing our sales go up, but we're also seeing some spikes simply because we have this trifecta in place. So, um, once I'd love for you to go ahead and take a moment and jot down how many ways are you selling your product? Is it one way? Is it five ways? Is it 10 ways? Um, I was talk, looking at someone on uh, social media and he was like, I'm selling, I have 22 streams of revenue, 22 streams of revenue. And, um, and so, but that's not 22 streams of sales. It's very, 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 very different. So when you're inside of your business, um, selling your product in several different ways gives you streams of sales. But when you zoom out, perhaps you are also a coach. Perhaps you're also um, uh, working a nine to five. Perhaps you're also, you also have several different brands or businesses. Those are different streams of revenue. Um, and so when you're looking at your sales inside of your business, this is what's gonna keep your business flowing and growing, okay? All right, so here is the trifecta I'm gonna show you really quickly because I want to make sure that this is gonna be really 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 clear um, as we move forward let me pull this up for you real quick and oh I don't I'm on a different platform I can't share screen sorry okay so if you want the um, <laughs> I'm thinking I'm on my other platform, but I'm actually inside the group, so I can't share my screen. Um, but nonetheless, I will drop the link or just DM me if you need to see the actual um, trifecta um, uh, picture. But if you can go ahead and just flow with me really quickly. It's three points, okay? So if you think about a recycle symbol um, where you have the, you know, recycle, reduce, reuse, okay? So it's three points, and it's in a circular fashion, arrow pointing to the next step, the next step. And it doesn't matter um, what it does. Okay, so, so with that, 
you have um, three points, okay? So if you think about it as a triangle, if you think about it as a circle with the arrows going in a circular motion, um, it's gonna have your audience, it's gonna have your website, and then it's also gonna have third-party platforms. This is the ultimate trifecta simply because we want to do one thing. One thing has to be priority. Finding and creating your own audience, okay? So the one item that we want of those two things, finding and creating, uh, finding and creating is having your own asset, your own audience, okay? On Amazon and Etsy, that's not your audience. Yes, they are your buyers. Yes, they are looking at your shop. Yes, they are purchasing your products, but they are not yours, okay? So at any moment, Amazon or Etsy pulls the plug on your business, you don't have access to those people unless, unless you have figured out how to make them your customers or your customers, okay? So that could be getting them on an email list. That could be um, having their contact information of any sort so that you are able to communicate with them on your terms, okay? So that big piece of the puzzle is having your own audience, okay? So anytime, like Mother's Day is coming up, Father's Day, Christmas soon, things of that nature, whenever something's coming up and you're like, hey, I want to reward my best selling customer, my best buying customers, okay? My VIP customers, I can email them anytime I want to, give them a special sale and sales are coming in just because of that, okay? Um, same thing goes for um, on your website your website that's yours so all the customers that are flowing through your website those are your assets and this is very very key because i think all companies need to have an exit strategy all companies need to have an exit strategy even though you may want to pass this down to your kids you may want to keep this forever um, we all need to have an exit strategy and part of the exit strategy is making sure that you are selling a brand that you are creating a brand not just selling products does that make sense just drops a few hearts or whatever if you are thinking this is making sense all right so um we want to make sure that we are selling a brand and the reason the, how we know we're selling a brand is if you have multiple streams of sales and you have your own assets okay so your own assets you have an influence amongst your community you are a um a staple within your uh, market and so we want to make sure that this is going to be a key thing to make sure that you're going to continue growing your sales now taking trump um it is very important that you don't reach out to all of your Amazon customers and all of your Etsy customers and send them an email through that platform and say, hey, um, send me your email address so I can contact you. No, that is against terms of service. You will, they will close down your shop immediately. But there are ways to where you can, um, you know, inside on your packaging, it has a way for you to, for them to connect with you on um, social media or through your website. Um, you may have some ways to where you're like, you know, Know what I'm gonna put select items on Amazon and I'm gonna put the remaining items on my website so there's some exclusivity there and so they want to come to my website and see how they can purchase um, something different and unique that's not available on Etsy so this you're creating um, some exclusivity you're creating a chance an opportunity for you um, to to allow them to become your customer your customer not Amazon and Etsy's customer okay and then also under the third-party platforms Remember those are three points, it's your audience, your website, and third-party platforms. That doesn't just mean selling platforms. That means connecting with other people who have like audiences similar to yours, okay? So that means you can be getting on podcasts and getting from other, other people's audiences. You can get, in, um, get articles. You can work with brand ambassadors or influencers. The whole idea is that we are constantly thinking of how can I get in front of other people? How can I make sure, how can I ensure that I'm positioning my product to get in front of other people's audiences, okay? That way, that takes the stress off of you. It's, it takes the stress off of, I gotta find my next customer. I'm always posting on social media and dropping my link and hoping that someone's gonna click on it and make a purchase. When you can be maximizing um, other people's platforms and audiences, 
to position your product for the sale, okay? Providing value. This is not just, this is not just buy, 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 because we all hate to be sold to. But we love conversation. We love when people are listening to our questions and asking for um, advice or giving insight on the situations. And it just so happens that we have a product that can help with that, okay? So going back to our example of the athletic socks um, for soccer. Let's go back to that um, that real quick. So I have a um, athletic sock that I love that I know is going to revolutionize the um, the soccer industry, and I am ready to take that from my idea to concept. Now, I've done work with manufacturing, wholesaling, private label. This goes on and on. So we're going to jump past that stage and go straight to I have the product is ready to be sold. Now, how do I get this into my athletes' hands? Well, actually, onto their feet. Okay, so. I'm gonna utilize several different outlets to get my products positioned for the sale. That could be ads, that could be Facebook ads. It could be organic traffic where you're saying, you know what, let's write an article on a and guest blog talking about how, um, what's wrong with athletic socks today? What's wrong with socks that don't grip the foot correctly or that have the, the seam across the toe? What's wrong with that? And then we position our product as the solution. Do you see what I'm saying? So you're giving them information, you're helping them see what's wrong with what they have and what's available for them in the future, all without really selling the product, all without saying bye, 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 bye. <laughs> Okay. Okay. So then that's just one area. Another thing is positioning yourself as the expert in the community, in your market. Okay. So let's say I was an, um, an ex soccer athlete, athlete. Okay. And so I'm like, you know what, when I was playing soccer, when I was doing this, when my kids were playing soccer, I noticed X, Y, Z. And so now you're speaking to their pain points their concerns, and you're positioning yourself as a solution. And you are also providing um, a a um, a solution through your products, okay? So you're giving them information, education, value to their questions and your product as a solution. So that's just one way. And then of course, creating your own brand ambassadors. Those who already love your products, now they can spread the word for you. So that third party platform um, section of the trifecta is definitely a way that you can maximize growing your audience, which is of course gonna drive traffic to your sales, um, to your website, sorry, which is gonna create more sales, which you can then say, hey, now you have a choice. When you send out your email marketing, you can drive traffic to your Etsy and Amazon. You can drive traffic to your website. You can drive traffic to um, the recent article or the recent podcast interview you just did or the recent television appearance you just had. Um, you can drive traffic to whatever you want because you know you're going to be positioning your product and your brand and your store um, as the go-to spot for that market and that industry, okay? So this is going to be some amazing um, ways to break past your ceiling. Now you're probably thinking, you know what? I make some amazing sales on Etsy. It is a kind of a comfortable place to be. <laughs> I make amazing sales on Amazon. And so I don't think I have the time or the energy to shift from um, Amazon to making my own website or you know growing my own audience and all that when I'm doing so awesome there. And this is a fork in the road. This is a fork in the road where you have to decide, okay, you know what? Are you okay with rebuilding and constantly rebuilding? Are you okay with that? Are you okay with you know the fact that these customers are not yours? Are you okay? And some people are. Some people are like, you know what? I am only gonna focus on this angle. I'm only gonna focus on this and I'm gonna focus on driving traffic. And some people are like, you know what? I, I don't wanna do all that extra work of, <laughs> of third party platforms and finding outlets to talk about my products and doing podcasts. I wanna focus on ads. I wanna just pay the money, find my audience, drive traffic to my, to my Etsy account or my Amazon products or my website and I'm done, okay? And that is definitely an option. There are people killing it with ads alone. There are people killing it on Amazon. I know um, I've seen myself like 20K a month and, uh, and other people I've seen like doing 50K and more than that a month simply on one platform. But I have a thought that I just wanna sprinkle in there, okay? This is just the thought that I wanna sprinkle in there which is what if, what if you could increase your sales and stabilize your business and your brand simply by implementing the trifecta, 
okay? Simply by having your own audience and your own website, okay? This is such a key component to building a business. This is such a key component to building a brand, okay? And, and this solves a problem, okay? So many times I see people who are um, selling, and I talk to my clients as well, who are like, you know what? I only make sales when I am doing a Facebook Live, or I'm only doing sales when I'm posting on social media all day, or I'm only doing, making sales when I send out an email. And, uh, or I, I talk to my family and friends, okay? And that means that it's hours for dollars, dollars for hours, okay? There, that you have to work hours to get the dollars. And so with this trifecta in place, you are able to rest, go on vacation, <laughs> hang out with your family, do whatever you need to do, and still have sales coming through because you've done the work, okay? So now when people, people are Googling athletic socks for, uh, for soccer athletes, you are coming up because you've done the work, okay? Now when people are on Amazon, they're like, hey, I've seen this brand. Um, on, I've just purchased on their website and they're on Amazon too, awesome. Or they're like, you know what? I see that they have yellow socks on Amazon, but I'm wondering, are there black socks available? Are there pink socks available? And then you pop up when they do a little simple search through your website and you're able to purchase there, okay? So this is such an amazing way to begin to take your, your brand from having $2,000 a month in sales, $5,000 a, $5, a, a month in sales, and growing that exponentially, um, continually to surpass your sales goals, okay? So perhaps you're like, you know what? I did 10,000 in sales last year. I wanna do 10,000 in sales in a month, it, in a month's time. Use the trifecta, okay? I have 100,000 in sales in a year. I wanna start getting to my 20K, my 50K a month. Use the trifecta, okay? This is a way that you're able to maximize on selling that same product without killing yourself. <laughs> without going crazy and killing yourself. This is such an amazing piece of the component. And many people, people are like, you know what? I have a website, but I make more sales on Amazon or make more sales on Etsy. And that's fine because you can begin to figure out what, um, how to drive more traffic to your website, how to get, how to grow your list, your email list, your contact list, things of that nature, because you have multiple sales coming in. So it's okay if you're having more sales elsewhere, You that buys you time to create more sales on your website, okay? That buys you more time to say, you know what? I can spend more time or I can spend money and outsource my social media and get sales that way because you're able to see that you now have multiple streams of sales, okay? So I am such a proponent of making sure that you have these things in place and you have a proper strategy, okay? So it's one thing to be like, you know what? I got this great idea, this great product is selling well, blah, 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 blah. Um, and I'm doing 2K, 5K, 10K a month. But I know I want to get to 50K a month, or I want to get to my first six figures in a year, or I want to do X, Y, Z. Now, we got to dive into some strategy, okay? We got to dive into some strategy because there are some things we got to take a look at. Look at your pricing. Look at what's going on with inside of your business. Look at how your expenses are doing. Look how this is like where we're able to say, all right. You got the sales, awesome. In order to take your sales to the next level, let's dive into the health of your business, see how you are branded, make sure that you are actually getting more sales, keeping the profit in-house, okay? Because it's, it's one thing to get 10K a month in sales and then have 9,999 in expenses every month. <laughs> so if, and if you've never been there, great job. As some of us have had those moments where we're like, wait a minute, I see all these big numbers, but I also see big numbers leaving. And this is part of where we have to kind of dig into the health of your business, see what's going on and how we can make sure that as your sales are growing, your profit is also growing. And sometimes it's as simple as, you know, just doing a little simple price check. And sometimes we have to really dive in deep and say, okay, here's how we're going to maximize your sales. Here's where we need to scale back here, push the lever there so we're able to increase your sales. And this is where I help my clients change the game, okay? We're talking about clients who come in and like, I have this idea and I have no audience and I have no product yet. And so we go through the manufacturing product and as soon as they open their doors, they have sales flowing through, okay? And there's also those who are like, hey, 
I just went through a sales drought. I don't know what I did wrong, but I was having sales and something happened. And now I need to get some, some help driving those sales again, figuring out what's going on, going on and going wrong. And so I can go ahead and rectify that and get my sales. And then there's others who are like, hey, I am killing it. <laughs> I am killing it on Amazon. But my website is having a hard time. Or my social media, I have crazy numbers as far as fans and followers, but my sales don't align. And that is where we have to figure out, okay, what happened? Like what's going on with the vanity numbers? And let's turn those into buying customers. And this is where I come in, where I help you get more sales by looking at the health of your business, making sure you have profitable streams of revenue and streams of sales within your business and helping you have a true asset that you can sell, keep, pass down whatever you decide to do at any point in time in the game, okay? So I wanted to definitely take a moment and share this trifecta with you because it is such an amazing way to say, you know what? I do awesome in my sales, but there are some gaps. And this trifecta will definitely help you figure that out. And if you, of course, if you need assistance and you're like, you know what? I need help with my next steps. I've tried this, I've tried that, and it's, my sales are still the same or they're going backwards. This is where you um, reach out to me. Message me, um, comment in the section, get more sales, and I'll be sure to reach out to you. This is where I help you get more sales. I have a Get More Sales Academy, as well as working with me one-on-one -on -one if you wanna expedite your results, okay? So I also said at the end that um, there was a reason, there was a reason why I wanted you to drop a link to your best selling product, okay? There's a reason, so if you haven't done it yet, take a moment and drop a link to your best selling product, okay? There's a reason. The reason is when you give someone your home page, that's a signal to peruse, okay? That's a signal to peruse and browse. Um, when you give a person a link to a specific product, that's being intentional for the sale. So I really want us to get in the habit of when you're posting on social media and you're like, hey, buy my, buy my XYZ is gonna help you with your XYZ and you drop a link to your homepage, it's not saying buy per se. Now some people will buy, but it's also saying, take a look, walk inside the store. It's like walking into Target and forgetting why you're there. <laughs> And we have all had moments where we go into Target and we're like, I came here for three things and I just kind of got lost in the sauce and I came out with more or I didn't go out with anything. I just decided I just wanted to peruse and just walk around and look around. So but when you when you drop a link to your actual product, now when people click on that, those are hot and warm leads who are really looking at the specifics of that product. Now, of course, they may peruse, they may look around, but they came there for a reason, okay? And then also, when you are posting on social media, when you are posting and you say, hey, look at my glasses, look at my glasses, and you drop a link to your homepage, do you know how frustrating that is? <laughs> I want to I want to go look at the glasses. Now I have to figure out I have to search through your whole website to find these sunglasses that I've wanted. And now I am a, a probably getting a little frustrated because it's not as easy as clicking a couple of links. Um, I'm now thinking about let me just Google it somewhere else. Let me just find out how I can just click on this and purchase it and be done. So we want to make this easy for our customers. We want to make it an easy no brainer. Hey, I posted a picture of a cute girl wearing sunglasses and here's the link to the glasses. Purchase now, okay? Um, I, I recently went through this. So I saw these, these wonderful bamboo wooden glasses and I thought to myself, oh, that would be great. Summer's almost here. Spring is around the corner. And I clicked the link and it was to her homepage. And I thought, okay, I'm, I'm internet savvy. I'll find these. I searched for the glasses. I looked for the glasses. I looked under the accessories section, this, that, and the other never found the glasses. I messaged the person. This is how, how much I wanted these glasses. I messaged the owner of the person because of course I found it on social media. And what did she send me? A link to the homepage. <laughs> I said, I need a link to the sunglasses. She sends me a link to the homepage. Um, so guess who didn't get the sale? You are right. She did not get the sale because I was too flustered and frustrated. And I'm like, it's a pair of sunglasses. I should not have to spend five minutes looking for a post. I'm looking for a pair of sunglasses that I want to give you my money for. So we want to make sure that there, we are reducing the barriers of entry 
um, reducing the barriers for a sale. Um, and so these are things that I talk about inside of my up level women of e-commerce Facebook group. I leave, um, I create five minute videos where you're able to just hop in there, get bite sized information and apply it to your business. Hearing all this information means nothing if you do not apply it. I understand research, but I also understand getting sales. And so it's time for us to take these, these nuggets of opportunities and knowledge that we're getting and apply them. So if you do not have a trifecta in place or your trifecta does not have a number of 10, 20, 15 different things under that third party platform area, um, your website's looking a little sparse, it doesn't have a lot of traffic implement apply it and of course if you get stuck if you're like Andrea I, I I've been spinning my wheels and I'm still making the same amount of sales every month I spoke to someone and she's been selling her products for over five years and she does not have um, more than a thousand dollars of sales in a month that would be extremely frustrating and so I am definitely I definitely understand the struggle I definitely understand that it does not always come easy and that's why I would love to guide you through this process to end the frustration, get more sales to where you're able to say, you know what, I can decide if I want to leave my job. I can decide if I want to go on vacation and not bring my laptop and not have to worry about being on to get the sale. So with that, I hope you enjoyed this time. Um, take a moment and drop your link. I see people are posting. I'm so excited. People are also pitching their things. But <laughs> nonetheless, um, let me know if you have any questions. Um, feel free to um, join me in the up level or, of course, reach out to me if you are ready to take your sales to the next level. So with that, enjoy your day. Thank you.